Are you thinking about starting your own business or becoming an entrepreneur? Or are you just starting out as an entrepreneur and you want to know if you're on the right path? If you are, here are 10 things that they don't tell you about entrepreneurship. So why should you listen to me? I've been running my own business since I was in my 20s, and ever since then, I've been able to overcome my challenges and build multiple companies to become very successful. If you like the David Wong Entrepreneur Show, make sure you subscribe to this channel, click the notification bell, comment and like and share this with your friends. With that said, let's get on with the 10 things that they don't tell you about entrepreneurship. Number 10 on the list is that entrepreneurship is not about money. So many people think that you want to start a business just to make money. If that's the only reason that you're starting a business or become an entrepreneur, then that is limited. You're limiting your ability to succeed. Becoming an entrepreneur has a lot more to do than just money. It's about achieving your full potential. It's about living the life of your dreams. It's about becoming a person that's better than the person that you were yesterday. If you just focus on the money, then you're just focusing on yourself. And you're not focusing on what you can do for people, how you can help other people. So if you're thinking about becoming an entrepreneur, make sure that you have something that drives you more than just money. The number nine truth that they don't tell you about entrepreneurship is that you're gonna have to sacrifice a lot of things in your life in order to succeed. And this may be having to argue with your family or having to lose some friends, because you are doing something that they don't understand, but you know it's the right thing to do. Number eight is that you're gonna get bashers and haters that are gonna hate on you and that are gonna troll on you. They don't tell you how hard it is when you get nasty comments on YouTube on your first video that you upload. They don't tell you how many naysayers there are that are gonna either make fun of you, or try to discourage you. So if you're not able to deal with the criticism or even the mockery that people are giving you, then you're not really suited to be an entrepreneur. What you need to do is to have thick skin and then actually welcome it because the more negative you get, that means you're getting more positive as a result. Hey, I have a lot more useful tips for you coming up, but before we get into that, make sure you check out my free event. It's called Chi Life Mastery. You're gonna learn how I became a successful entrepreneur how I use techniques in meditation and use technologies that enhance meditation. I'm going to show you the secrets of how I went from nothing to become something and how you can do it too. So don't miss this event. Go to chilifemastery.com right now. I'll see you there. Number seven thing that they don't tell you about being an entrepreneur is that you have to always be learning. You never stop learning. It's not like you take a class, you graduate, you got a diploma and you're done. That's it. No, every day is a new challenge. The market changes, your customers change, everything changes all the time. So if you're not learning new things, if you're not adapting new technologies or new strategies, then you are gonna be falling behind. You have to find a way to learn as quickly as possible and efficiently so that you can gather data and implement it and execute faster than everybody else. Number six, very important. Becoming an entrepreneur is very hard. There's a lot of people out there that says, it's easy, make $100,000 online and instantly. All right, it's not that easy. It's not like get rich quick. There's no such thing as get rich quick. It takes a lot of effort. It takes a lot of pain and sweat and blood in order to, for you to get to where you want to go. It's never easy. If it was easy, everybody would be successful. And sometimes it may cause you to be lonely because many people do not understand the path of the entrepreneur. Because an entrepreneur by definition is someone who can create something out of nothing that doesn't exist. So for people who look at what they're doing, they don't see anything existing. So they don't believe because they can't see it. But the entrepreneur can see it because they see it in their mind, it's their vision, it's clear to them. So this disconnection between the vision and what's reality causes loneliness when other people don't see the way that you see things. And along your journey, you're gonna fail. You're gonna have obstacles. You're gonna get knocked down just like in the fight. You're gonna get hit, you're gonna get hurt, but the key is to never give up and to just keep going. Just like if you get knocked down, you get back up, brush off the dust, and just keep walking down that path that you meant to go on. Number five on the list is to work for an entrepreneur or shadow somebody or get a mentor. There's a myth that people think that as you're an entrepreneur, that you're, it's you against the world, there's no one there to help you, and that everybody is actually your enemy. But it's not true. In the business world, there's actually people who are willing to help you, to take you by the hand, to guide you so that your path will be 
more efficient and that you don't have to go through the challenges and obstacles and mistakes that many entrepreneurs make. Number four is that you actually have to work hard. I mean, you gotta work hard. 80 hours a week minimum. If you're not working 80 hours a week for 12 to 24 months consistently, then don't expect any result. Don't expect your business to grow at all. So many people, they work in their business for a month, maybe six months, and they don't see results and they give up and say it's not working and they go back to their job. The key is to find out what's working for you and to keep improving on that. And if something's not working, stop doing that and change it and modify your game plan or your actions so that you can succeed. You have to be willing to take the risk of failure, but turn failure into an opportunity to learn. So that even if you fail, you actually gain more from failing than if you didn't fail. Number three is don't say yes to everything. You think that being an entrepreneur, that you have to be agreeable, you have to be everybody's friend. You don't have to. You don't have to be nice to everybody. In fact, sometimes it's okay to be mean. Because there's a lot of people out there that can take advantage of you, especially if you are an experienced entrepreneur. And learn to say no sometimes, and say yes to only the things that you can really commit to. Number two is a very important point. If you can understand this, they'll put you ahead of everybody else. Is to never stop listening to your ideal customer. Now, when we become entrepreneurs, we probably have an idea, we have a concept, we have a product, we have a service that we think is the greatest. The key thing is that you are not the market. You are only one person in the market. The market is the market. So if you think that such and such idea is great or such and such product is great, how do you know that your ideal customer thinks that's great? Who is going to be buying your product? You or the ideal customer? Obviously, it's the ideal customer. So whose needs do you need to meet? Not your own, not your own wants, not your own desires, not your own um, ideas, but what the customer wants. So focus on what your ideal customer wants and what their need is in the product rather than what you're excited about. The final thing that they don't tell you about entrepreneurship is that self-doubt is part of the journey. So a lot of people give up becoming an entrepreneur when they start to doubt themselves because everything is going against them. They're not making the money they want. People are talking down on them. They're making fun of them. Friends are making more money than them or they're even losing money or spending too much money. And you start to doubt yourself. You say, did I make the right decision? Did I start a business? Was, is this really meant for me? Is this actually gonna work out? And guess what? That's normal. Every entrepreneur has to go through that self-doubt. So take it from me. If you have self-doubt, that's fine. Turn that self-doubt into evaluation. If it's something that you're missing, just find out what exactly you're missing that you need and just fill in what you're missing and that will help you to overcome your self-doubt. If you ever come across self-doubt, here's some things you can do. Remember your proudest moments. Remember your greatest strengths. Remember how you were able to make a difference in somebody else's life. Remember why you started your business in the first place. What drove you? What gave you the fire to start and do something that nobody else is doing? To go against the grain and to challenge yourself to become more than what you are. If you can think about those things, then that will overcome that self-doubt and help you overcome fear of failure. So I'm David Wong from the David Wong Entrepreneur Show. I hope you enjoyed this show. And if you like this show, make sure you subscribe to this channel, click the like button. Make sure you comment below and let me know what else you want to learn on this channel. Until next time, use the chi and prosper.